Heads up. Whoa, easy there. Not everyone has time for these fun beach antics. I have a network to maintain. Gotta make sure these developers play by the rules. Why are you worried about that? Aren't you using shared VPC? What's shared VPC? Shared VPC allows an organization to connect resources from multiple projects to a common VPC network so that they can communicate with each other securely and efficiently using internal IPs from that network. Wow, but how does that help me with maintaining control of my network? Shared VPC admins can delegate network administration tasks to network and security admins in the Shared VPC network. Now we're talking. Can you show me how to set it up? You bet. Let's take a look. To start off, I'm logged in as Gustavo Mantovan, who is the organization administrator for this domain, bringtothecloud.com. After I'm logged in, the organization admin needs to elect someone or a group of people to be the compute shared VPC admin on the organization level, who in this case will be Mary Smith. Normally, it will be whoever is responsible for managing the network in your environment. We will also give the project owner permission to marry for the shared VPC host project, so she can create new VPCs and firewall rules. This is not a required step to set up shared VPC. However, for this demo, it will make it easier to demonstrate the shared VPC creation. Once that's done, I'll log out as Gustavo, the org admin, and I will log in as Mary, who is the shared VPC admin and can set up the shared VPC. After I'm logged in as Mary, I'll go to the bttc shared vpc host project, which will be the host project for the shared VPC. And for this demo, I will create a new VPC called share VPC bring to the cloud with two sub networks, one for development and another for production. Mary, as the NetOps engineer, does not want anyone to be using the default VPC on the host project, so she deleted the default VPC. Once that's complete, Mary will create two fire rules, one for allowing SSH to the instance in the new VPC, and another allowing ICMP between the two subnetworks. This rule we are creating just to show that we have connectivity between different subnetworks within the shared VPC. Now that Mary has everything set up and ready to go, she'll go ahead and start creating the shared VPC. She goes to the shared VPC page and clicks Set Up Shared VPC. First step is to enable these projects as the host projects of the shared VPC. Next, you have to select which subnets you want to share in the shared VPC. You can select all subnets or select individual. In this case, Mary selects the development and production subnets. Finally, you have to select the projects you want to attach to the shared VPC. Those projects are called service projects, and they will consume the networks from the host project. Mary selects the development and the production projects. After doing that, I will log out as Mary and log in as Charcoal, the development owner, and create an instance using the shared VPC subnet. As you can see, Charcoal checks the box Networks Share With Me and select the development subnet. After that, he creates the instance normally. Now, I will log out as Charco and log in as John and do the same thing. However, John will create an instance in the production project for which he is the owner. When all that is done, I will ping the development instance from the production instance using the shared VPC internal IP address to confirm I have connectivity and the shared VPC is working. There you have it, simple and easy. 
and Mary has all the control she needs to give the appropriate engineers access to the right networking resources. Life is amazing. The network administrators have complete control over the network and no longer need to worry about any network changes that were made by the developers. This lets the developers focus more on what they're best at and helps me to relax a bit more. If you enjoyed today's demo, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to get in contact with us, click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.